What is going on everybody? DJ Minds here and in today's video we are stacking up the RTX 3070 versus the Alpha 4000. Can the Alpha 4000 perform similar to the 3070 in gaming? Before we get into it, I do want to say that I'm not great with tech. I don't know that much about test benches or anything. For testing, it's going to be very basic, just showing frames per second, or rather saying the frames per second, and can the game play. That's really as far as we're getting into it. Everything shown in today's video will be on 1080p. For the CPU, I'll be using an 8700K, power supply 850 watt EVGA, and motherboard, I kind of forget, it's an older MSI. Here's the backside of the two cards. Look at the difference. Oh my goodness. I've actually never seen these side by side. I've never put them side by side. I've never seen Seen somebody make a video with them side by side on your left is the rtx 3070 founder edition and on the right is the alpha 4000 there's another side view of these two i know this video focuses on the gaming side but my goodness can we just focus on the aesthetics of this founder edition it's so beautiful and that's the rtx alpha 4000 that's pretty much it man it's got one fan and that's it here's a different view from up top just to show you what they look like i love the gold strip on the rtx alpha 4000 but yeah once again you can see how thick that is and the difference there here's the back side of the founder edition 3070 not as cool looking it looks okay here and there's the back side of the alpha 4000 i don't know i kind of like the alpha 4000 a little bit better on the back side only as far as mega hash the rtx 3070 can easily get 60 mega hash i've seen it hit 61 and some people can get 62 whereas the alpha 4000 easily gets 63 upper 63 mega hash i've seen it hit 64 and 65 mega hash the main concern for testing today even if this thing can game is can it stay cool i really don't know with this little itty bitty fan that's quite scary for me i'll be watching the memory as closely as i can where the benefit of the 3070 is you don't worry about that at all these things are incredible just like the 3060 ti's all right folks so here is the rtx 3070 settings for halo infinite right now we're rocking a cool 90 frames per second these are kind of the settings we're running 1080p we unlocked the frame rate we turned off the minimum and we took off the v-sync here and hopefully at the top right you can see we're getting anywhere from 100 to 110 sometimes 120 fps on the 3070 And going into MSI Afterburner, you can see here NVIDIA RTX Alpha 4000. I'm going to put the power limit at 100%. I don't know. I'm not going to touch any of these. Throughout this video, I have Info64 available just in case the thing wants to thermal throttle, which I do expect it to do. Just loading in, we're getting about 100 to 110 frames. So that's about the same as the RTX 3070. And so far, I can't notice any difference visually. And we'll find out if there's any difference when we start playing and there's motion and the game starts loading more things. So the initial 30 seconds, I see absolutely nothing wrong. It feels exactly the same as the 3070 that i was testing as smooth as butter and yeah easily 100 fps no problem a few minutes in of gameplay we're at 56.6 degrees celsius which is perfectly healthy and fine oh baby give it to me no oh, <laughs> killing spree you run kind of slow in this halo i'm noticing temperature wise halfway through the game we're at 63 degrees celsius sometimes 62 and also 65 every now and then but absolutely no problem with this current title halo game what you get for camping bud all right so we didn't end up winning our first match but after finishing that is uh, still the highest we ever hit was like what 65 gpu hotspot temperature that could count as well under 70 degrees celsius and i had zero lag smooth as butter could not tell the difference between an alpha 4000 and the 3070 and here you can see we're testing out the rtx 3070 right there at the top all settings on ultra And as expected, no problems during combat. And now here you can see we're using the RTX Alpha 4000 in StarCraft 2. Everything is set to Ultra. This game's older, so it's not really that demanding, but just to give you a gauge of can it play games, I got a feeling the answer is going to be yes. Now the game's been live for a minute and 30 seconds. And so far, 47 degrees Celsius, memory 49.4 degrees Celsius. Just over six minutes in, we're going in for our first attack. No issues. Temperatures are 48.6 degrees Celsius and the memory 50.7 degrees Celsius. And just to see how this goes... Seven minutes in, we win our first match. Now that the match is over, we hit almost 51 degrees Celsius on the memory. Really no issues. Again, same exact feeling as the 3070. I could alt tab through everything. My computer felt exactly the same and there was no temperature issues whatsoever on StarCraft 2. Testing out the RTX 3070 on very high graphics over Battle.net. Unsurprisingly, teleporting with a 3070 is not an issue. Looking at the temperatures midway, hot spot up to 67.1 degrees Celsius on the 3070. Who remembers killing Bale back in the day, huh? In 
And finally, for the Alpha 4000, we'll be checking out a new game called Diablo 2 Resurrected, a personal favorite of mine. This is one of the greatest games, if not the greatest games of all time, in my opinion. We'll teleport around with my sorceress in a random game. This is on Battle.net if you're wondering, so yes, we are playing online. Everything is set to very high, which actually is the highest setting for this game. Checking out the temperatures, 43.8 degrees Celsius and memory, 46.6 degrees Celsius. So far, absolutely no issues or stutters of any kind. Who remembers the old graphics from back in the day? Oh yeah, bringing back the early 2000s. So I think it's safe to say that even on this modern game, Diablo 2 Resurrected, absolutely no issues. Smooth as butter. And to check out the temperatures one more time, sub 50 degrees. That is insane on an RTX Alpha 4000, which everyone seems to think that is not capable of playing video games. All right, folks. So what is the verdict here? Right now, I'm going to say it. The Alpha 4000 was equally as good in performance. I felt no difference whatsoever. There was no lag. There was no stutter. And yes, we only played for 15 minutes on Halo, but I feel like that's the most modern game. That's the game that's really going to show you the difference. And I don't have other games that, you know, could be more intensive like Battlefield or something. But honestly, just judging by the three games that we played and two of them were fairly modern, with there being no difference whatsoever, I don't know how it would be any different between the two. Now, was this fan loud? Not at all. Could couldn't even hear it like the only way I could hear this is if I put my ear by it and that's the same with the 3070 no difference whatsoever for me in my personal testing the alpha 4000 might have ran a little bit warmer but it was nothing that you could tell the difference of so does that mean you should go out and buy an alpha 4000 for gaming uh I would say no if I had a choice between the two which to be frank most people don't and that's why we're even looking at these kind of cards like the alpha 4000 alpha 2000 alpha 5000 if I had a choice I would still go with the 3070 why because it's made for gaming there's two fans you know i feel like longevity wise this would probably be the better deal i, I wouldn't even say it probably this is going to be the better deal for longevity and also the misconception that everyone seems to think that these things cannot play games as i have debunked this not only plays games but it excels at games equally as good as the 3070 in my experience with the three games that we played so what is the point of this video if you're watching my channel that means you are into gpu mining and everybody always says there's no resale value because this can't play games anyways but it can play games that's the thing and again still go with the 3070 if you have a choice but you probably don't have a choice if you're watching this video so if you get stuck with something like an alpha 4000 just know that yes you can still game on it with no problems whatsoever now will it last years and years i don't no, that's something that may or may not happen but if you're mining with it at the end of the day if you only have enough money for one of these you know and you could only afford one graphics card just know that if you get stuck with an alpha 4000 you'll still be able to play more modern games and i was playing on ultra or very high or the highest settings that i possibly could and it was just destroying those games constantly at over 100 fps on halo infinite and often 110 and 120 on the alpha 4000 for diablo and starcraft there was really no fps meter but let me tell you there was no difference can these things play games yes they can so if anybody ever tells you these things are not capable of gaming that is completely false should you aim to use this for gaming no but can it play games absolutely let me know if this video was useful to you i hope it was it was a lot of work to do but i'm really glad that we did it if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing i'd love for you to join the discord we have so many people talking now but we could always use more we need more active members and i'll catch you guys on the next video peace Peace.